Hi guys, so last time we did The Boys and back from my new home, we are doing Blackpink today. Let's go. Just doing this, but anyone else tried to do that, they ain't doing that. Pulling words but in the throat or it's an issue, it's just the way his kind of voice sounds, it's his tone, but it's powerful, it's connected, it's full. I've been waiting for a female singer in K-pop to have a sustained G5 belt. And knows really how to place it so forward. This is unbelievable. This is... Okay, so a couple of little precursors. Firstly, Blackpink don't have a huge amount of music out bar like a few title tracks and obviously their new stuff's coming out shortly. So they have all sang, but they haven't had too much in the way of very kind of vocals all the way through lots of different styles in B-sides and things. So in years to come, this well may change and we'll see kind of what happens then. Also, people also label Blackpink as either really bad or a lot better than they actually are. Um, they're kind of an okay vocal group and I'd like to delve into everyone's voices just to kind of clear up a few things, hopefully. Without further ado, Blackpink vocal ranking. Let's go. Alright, so while I was researching, people seem to label Lisa as either like one of the better ones in the group or a weak vocalist. Now, she's not a weak vocalist per se, she's just a limited vocalist. Let's see what she has to offer. Okay, so first and foremost, Lisa doesn't have like a huge amount of lines singing wise in most of the title tracks and things like that. So you only have kind of a small gauge of her voice into where she kind of sits in Blackpink. I think when she isn't singing Blackpink songs, she showcases a few other things that are quite nice. For example, when I was looking at some of her clips, she had a really nice falsetto when she was doing Tori Kelly's Paper Hearts. And she could do that kind of area of her voice pretty decently. However, when it comes to Blackpink's actual music, she doesn't really have much of a wide spectrum to really work in. Where her voice works, it works pretty well, it's kind of stable, it's got okay tuning to a point but it does follow in now and again, but in this lower area of her voice she sounds pretty consistent, pretty stable and pretty comfortable. She has a nice amount of weight to her voice, she isn't really using a really light sound or much air or much breath or anything like that. She stays nice and connected, nice and full and has kind of a little bit of power in this lower area of her voice. And um, Having said that, she doesn't really have any affinity enlightening that tone hugely outside of like a cutesy Disney princessy voice almost and that will only get you kind of so high into so many areas and because of the lack of kind of obvious lightning ability she doesn't really get into much of a mixed place very efficiently or very well she only really has this small area of her voice that works and while it works pretty decently as I say the tuning isn't perfect it does fall off occasionally and it sounds a little bit pulled now and again and when she goes up I have heard occasionally she puts into her nose and it can sound a bit whiny on occasion so basically Lisa's voice as an area, it works totally fine, and it sounds okay, and potential-wise, it sounds like she has been trained, and one day when they actually get more music released by YG, she will probably have a much better voice and more of a spectrum to work in, but as of right now, she has a very small range, which range isn't only a huge factor for me, but she doesn't really do much outside of her speaking tone or just above it, where she sounds pretty comfortable. As I say, there's chord closure, so there's all the potential in the world to get higher into a good area if she learns to lighten or use placement particularly efficiently. But as of right now, Lisa has a voice that works totally fine in like a few notes and sounds fine, um, but hasn't really got much in the way of technically proficient vocals, um, other than kind of a jazzy, smoky timbre down in like the lower end of her voice. Um, so yeah, so in future she could be pretty decent. As of right now, she's very limited and okay, but that could partially be down to YG's lack of kind of actual promotion of music, but we'll see. Right now she's fine, um, but you can't really put her any higher than last, I don't think. Now, I feel really sorry for Jenny. As I was kind of researching everything, she seems to get a lot of hate, and during some of the performances she got quite emotional, which is kind of sad. Is she an amazing vocalist? No. Has she got potential? Absolutely. Let's look at what she does. Oh, don't know what to do without you.
Okay, so to me, the reason I place Jenny higher than Lisa is she has more facets to her voice. It's got more of a spectrum to kind of work in. So I think as a potential as a singer, she's kind of got a little bit more to work with. Having said that, I know that YG apparently really favours full voices. That could be wrong, but it's something I did come across during my research. And I think that explains partially why Jenny sings the way that she does. Jenny famously sings very, very heavy. Now, that is partially okay and partially an issue. Firstly, she has chord closure. That's good. It sets her up to use a whole spectrum really well. She can kind of stay lower pretty consistently. She's got a nice chord closure, nice connection, sounds pretty full and pretty strong with a powerful voice in this sort of area. As she goes up, this chord closure becomes a slight issue because she doesn't really lighten her tone superficially all that often. I've heard clips and examples where she opens her mouth, places it a little more forward, and it has a nice open, resonant, full, big sound. It's not super sustainable and super amazing or consistent, but it is there. More often than not, what she does is Jenny's famous are kind of yelling, and that's because she doesn't have the feeling of knowing how to lighten that really heavy chord closure she has as she goes up into a higher mixed place. So her mix is very, very chest dominant, and that's kind of fine at some other time, but if you're wanting to kind of get into higher areas, it's not so good. And so what Jenny often seems to do is kind of place in her nose and kind of yell up with a lot of chords, chord closure and chest weight, and it becomes this kind of big yelly sound. A lot of people say that she's screaming. She's nowhere near screaming. Scream is kind of going like, ah! or whatever she's just kind of yelling I and mean, that's not ideal for an upper range but it shows to me that her voice can get into a higher area and as i said sometimes it does have a decent roundness to it and kind of have more of a resonance and a forward placement more often than not not she is kind of yelling with more of a open mouth and kind of more of a chesty configuration and that isn't ideal in the long run so yeah, to me, Jenny's voice, it has a lot of places it can go. The tuning down low is pretty okay, it's pretty decent, and she has moments of genuinely very good singing, but more often than not, it kind of is just pulling a lot of weight and hoping for the best, and occasionally it does get a little bit throaty, and it's not as melodic as the people above her. So I think Jenny has all the potential in the world. Core closure is a good thing to have, and the fact that she can use Nizelda to lighten to a point is good, but we just need YG to stop forcing her to kind of shout, essentially. And then once she kind of gets that mixed place more consistent, she'll be a much, much, much better vocalist. So yeah, I think Jenny has all the potential in the world. Please leave her alone. I know she's not, like, incredible, but she, she doesn't deserve the hate that she gets. Nobody does. It's not fair. I mean, it takes a toll on people. But yeah, she will get there one day. I feel like she has all the tools, but right now kind of yells a little bit, and that, I think, is down to YG. But I could be wrong. Good job. Okay, so I was exceptionally torn between one and two. To me, Jisoo's voice in future is going to be stronger. It's got kind of more techniques that work in the long run, but she is technically holding herself back with a couple of things. Let's watch her sing. So as I said, Jisoo's voice to me has all the tools to be very good and could easily be number one. I understand the argument for her to be number one and number three to a kind of extent. Jisoo's voice is again quite a heavy voice, but it's got more melody and kind of more consistency than Jenny's voice does. Um, it's got a nice full chord closure. Down low, she has a pretty thick voice. It's pretty solid, pretty okay. And as she goes to a higher place, she can mix kind of the most efficiently and the most consistently in the group, I would say. The only main issue with Jisoo's voice is she has a very, very obvious and prominent nasal sound to it. Now, nasality is used to thin out a vocal tone. That's what she does occasionally. Because of that thinned out voice, because of the nasality, she gets into a higher area quite easily in comparison to the people I mentioned so far. But it's also because it's so prominent. It also kind of has an ability to get her stuck a little bit. And a big 
feature of Jisoo sound is the fact that it's very throaty. A lot of the time, it actually kind of goes into this higher mixed place. Now, that isn't ideal because obviously, again, that kind of takes its toll and doesn't feel very good and technically isn't the best way to sing in a mixed place. Having said that, she doesn't seem to have like huge problems with it and her consistency and stability compared to everybody else is kind of the highest. I think she might have the most stable and consistent voice in the group, but just technically, if she alleviated some of that nasality and that throaty placement, she would be very good indeed. There were sections where she was singing Clarity by Zed, where she kind of opened the voice up above this story configuration, opened her mouth wide, placed it more in her head, and unleashed these bigger belts. And that part of the voice sounded very, very, very good. That says to me that she has the ability to use a nice resonant open full mix up at the top when she places it more forward and in her head, rather than what she tends to do and bring up a lot of weight and bring it from the throat in a slightly nasal placement. So yeah, to me, Jisoo's voice has all the potential and it could easily be number one in the future. Just right now, because of that heavy nasal placement, very obvious in her voice, that's just getting the voice stuck kind of in her throat as she brings up weight with the nasal placement, rather than using nasality as a subtle thinning out technique and kind of using that to get into a nice high mixed area. So yeah, to me, Jisoo's voice is going to be very good if she just alleviates some of that pressure she puts on her voice with the kind of throaty placement and the kind of nasality present there, and unleashes more of those kind of head placement mixed belts, which I think that she has down very well. Her stability is pretty good and she sounds pretty consistent, so if she alleviates some of that, she will be very, very, very good. Just to me, number one understands her voice better and the nasality is less of an issue, to a point. But yeah, I think Jisoo will be very good in the future, just right now needs to get rid of some of those technical inconsistencies. Okay, so I understand the arguments for Jisoo at first. I kind of half think she will be, and it's very close at some stage. But to me, Rosie understands her voice a little bit better, and there isn't as obvious a throaty configuration. Anyway, let's watch her sing, and I'll break it down. Okay, so is Rosie the best main vocalist I've ever heard in my life? Not right now. However, I think her voice, she kind of understands fairly well. Having said that, I've kind of, through my research, been told that YG makes her use a fake voice. Now, I don't want to kind of delve on that too much, but on her Mask Singer stuff, kind of just at a debut, her voice sounded much more full and open than it does now. Anyway, having said that, the voice that we know Rosie to have is a very westernised kind of white valley girl voice, like I always kind of say, which is basically having a very thin, light tone and bringing that all the way up with a natural twang, which gives it this really interesting flavour to her voice and a really interesting tone. Tonally, Rosé's voice is probably the most pleasant in the entire group because she doesn't use a very heavy, full configuration to get into all these higher areas. She has a naturally thinner voice that works seamlessly all the way through her instrument, and that's because, again, her voice has a pretty prominent nasal placement. It's not as, like, stuck in the nose as Jisoo's is, and isn't kind of as whiny up at the top as Jenny's is. It's used to thin out the entire vocal tone all the way through, and while it's not the most incredibly healthy way to sing I've ever heard in my life, because she's bringing up a naturally thinner coordination rather than the heaviness that Jisoo does, it's not as throaty a sound. Yes, it sounds like she is straining on occasion as she gets into her upper notes, which I'll mention in a second, but kind of throughout the middle of her voice and the lower end of her voice, it's pretty consistent, pretty nice, and the tone and kind of the nasality present and the thin sound that goes all the way through it is the most consistent kind of instrument to that point. While she's dancing, it's not as easy to sustain this lighter sound, I don't think, but while they're standing still and she's sitting still, her voice sounds really, really quite nice in the lower end and the middle part of her voice because the nasality thins all of it all the way through and it just sounds like she's bringing up a nice light sound and she isn't too breathy, and it's not too heavy where it gets stuck in the throat and sounds like there's a lot of pressure. The only issue with Rosé's voice really is as she goes 
up into a higher place, her mix is pretty brittle because she's bringing up this lighter sound that works really well because of the nasality in the middle of her voice. It becomes really whiny and unstable kind of above that. I have heard sometimes she places it more in her head, a little bit more forward and allows the nasality to come out even more and get into this place kind of okay. But a lot of the time the tuning does fall off and it breaks apart kind of above this place. So to me, Rosé doesn't have the mix potential up at the top that Jisoo currently kind of does, but everything else above it, the below it I should say, sounds just more comfortable, more consistent and much easier because she's bringing up a weight that isn't too heavy, it's more of a light thin sound all the way through, very reminiscent of western pop singers and it's clear that she kind of understood her voice before going into YG and he's kind of using the voice that she has there, like an indie girl like some people say. It's not the most technically proficient thing I've ever heard in my life but I think if she got a coach for an upper mixed place and learned how to use that thin sound that she brings up while adding chord closure into a higher area, she could be very good. So for now, Rose is a pretty okay main vocalist, she's pretty decent, got a really nice tone. Um, the middle and kind of lower parts of her voice work really well because of the thinned out kind of twang that she has to it. Um, it's very reminiscent of Mini from Idol, um, but possibly not quite as good, I'm not quite fully sure yet. But kind of in the upper end, it still needs a bit of work because that thin placement only works so high. So I think in future, Jisoo and Rose could be very, very good indeed. As of right now, they're both just okay, but kind of we could hear more in the future and hopefully they'll be very good and alleviate the issues that I've mentioned here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the Blackpink episode. I hope the backdrop and stuff's okay. Obviously it's my new house, I'm still working out where to put everything. Um, okay, so next time I'll be doing a second gen group based on my system that I broke last time because I'm stupid. And I couldn't quite decide who to do. Um, I saw recently a few comments for 2pm and 2am. I think they'll be the next two that I do. I'll stick with 2pm first because I know them slightly better. Without further ado, thank you for watching. Goodbye.